2 a.m. in my head just completely randomly that showing the uh it was a horse ranch or a horse farm but but that makes it sound like they have a little cabbage patch field of horse Okay, are you still out of it? <laughs> I shouldn't be paying any attention to this, no, right? No, this is I can't believe you don't remember this. A year ago out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played and you you ditched that test again, right? To to bring us a new amp because during the sound check we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. Why this pop into your head? Tonight made this pop into your head. Is it is it just cuz we're like outside? I don't know, but I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this like super important for school placement aptitude test once and why would you do that? Um I think she was indisposed. Uh, you know, Michael I, uh, probably I died. Remember? Michael had just died like a month or two before and I I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But you know, it's whatever, that's that's not part of the story. Anyways, she was going to retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the, just picture like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a... What? Wait, you don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was the thing you did? Uh, friendships are more important? Yeah, I mean... He needed his amp, and it was just a stupid test, so who cares? And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine, and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out <laughs> of the water. And even knowing I used that, to do that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome, right? You didn't well, tell me that. You failed to tell me that part. Maybe that's why this is a more meaningful memory to me than you. Yeah, I mean, even if you think the test was stupid, I don't know. I can't help but feel that you maybe should have probably still done it. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? What do you think? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just like if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. Hey, none taken. I'm not that smart. I'm not that smart, Jonas. There's nothing really to waste here. Yeah, if you say so. How about that comment about where I used to do the cough syrup stuff? Don't I'm not recommending you do that. <laughs> uh, it's not very pleasant most of the time. Rin seems to be uh, way into the um, narcotics, though, doesn't he? I wonder what else he does. Kind of worries me. Uh, worries me a little bit. Stick a radio. Not really pick anything up. Know that. I wonder, could this be one of them and there's Bugs Bunny again. Alright, so we're off to get Clarissa. Was it? Should we try this door? I don't we I don't think we can get into it, can we? No. You know, I wonder if we have to do this right now, because I would like to backtrack and try to find some of those little, um, things. Because, I remember on the map here, it said anomalies. I'm guessing those are those little rocks that are stacked up that we can try the radio out on. I wonder if it'll be bad for our group if we don't go straight for Nona and Clarissa right now. I think I might roam around and try to do that, a actually. If it'll let me. Might have missed, missed some of those plaques as well. I'd like to get some more of those, if at all possible. I'm starting to get a little bit more of a handle on the game, so I was kind of passing all this stuff up earlier. So let's check everything out. I haven't played this since last night, and somehow I feel like I've forgotten a lot. But, um... Hopefully not, and hopefully us backtracking like this doesn't have any kind of negative side effect. Now, I don't think this is a rock. I mean, it's a rock, but I don't think it's a stack of rocks that we can do anything with. I wish I could walk faster. I wonder what Michael has to do with all this. Because I'm thinking he must have something, like some sort of involvement somehow. Maybe not directly, but maybe we'll come in contact with them if we're talking to dead people. 
Because remember earlier that message told us to not let Jonas talk to his mother and she's dead. I don't know, something really weird is going on here. How the hell do I get out of this place? I'd look at the map, but I'm not very good at reading it. Okay. I'm kind of already regretting backtracking like this. <laughs> it seems to be more tedious than expected. Going the mountain took longer than I thought it would. Now, I'm supposing maybe... Okay. So, the military probably did a test out here. I'm guessing in the 40s since we went back... I'm assuming when we went back to the 40s because we heard that Pearl Harbor message. And, um... Oh, shit. I, I, I forgot all about looking for these rocks again. They keep slipping my mind. Well, hopefully we didn't pass any up. No, I don't know. I don't think I don't think that's one, but we'll check. Da 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 da. Don't know what the hell that is. All right. But I guess the military were doing tests here in the forties. And I wonder if they did something like, made some sort of communication with some sort of, I don't know, force or spirit sort of deal when they were, I don't know, experimenting or whatever, or if there's something like aliens involved. I'm more inclined to believe the or, uh, former at this point, but who really knows? I don't think this is one of those rocks, I'm just checking. Alright. Okay, this is one of those rocks up there, but I might have tried this one already. Yeah. Alright, let's keep moving, guys. I may just spend the entire video, this video, doing this backtracking. Unless it stops me somehow. I think we got this one too. Yep. Okay, so that's two, and I it said we only got two anomalies. I'm guessing that those are the anomalies right there. Is that one? Uh, uh, in front of that bush? I don't think it is, but I'd like to test it. Okie doke. Okay, this is where we had that soccer ball thing happen. Oh yeah, and in that, it's like we were talking to ourselves. And Nona said she came in contact with us earlier, so... Jeez, that's weird. Uh, so maybe this whole thing is going to like kind of loop on each other. So at when we were playing soccer, right here kicking the ball and then some ghostly thing was kicking it back that appeared to be us maybe in the future in the game we will be that ghostly thing kicking the ball to the old us <laughs> does that make sense probably not I don't know I started walking through here not looking for anomalies again I don't know why I keep forgetting about them. That's my entire point of doing this. Alright, that looks like just a rock. Just a normal rock. Alright. See if this thing works. Well, let's go. And you know, what was that radio message all about where it said they found four bodies? I think it said four bodies found dead 
who were in two different cars. And we have more than four people, though, don't we? We have Ren, uh, Jonas, Alex, that's me, and Nona, and Clarissa. But Clarissa might be dead. Although I hope not. Although she's, she was terrible, but... You don't want her to die, though. For the most part, you don't. I mean, you might a little. She... I don't really care if she's dead. Well, yeah, I do. It, it probably won't fare well for the story if she's dead. But secretly, secret, secretly I, I, I want her dead. She's awful. Uh, oh, I see one up there. You see it? Looks like a little mushroom. Oh, and there's one of those plaques over there. So we got, we got a twofer here. Now, I don't know, I can't read what's popping up when I go up to these things. Oh, wait, that might have been it right there. Hold the hell on. Do I have subtitles on? Son of a bitch. I've been playing this entire thing without subtitles. That would have been so helpful. God damn it. Well, it doesn't look like there's subtitles here anyway. I can't believe I've been playing this whole thing without subtitles. I didn't even notice. Damn it. That would have helped a lot with these radio things. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's, it just says anomaly. Alright, Bobby Dunbar. Damn, those subtitles would have been so helpful earlier. Man, that sucks. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. They never make subtitles like the default thing anymore. But Bobby Dunbar, do we know that name? I don't remember it. Okay, here we go. Huh. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. The Catbird station was built to detect... Alright. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like something important was going on here, I guess. Can we not come go in here? No. Have we been here before? Can we do anything with this lamp? I think the lamps that we can do stuff with grow more reddish, but I'm not sure. Man, I am so upset that we didn't have those subtitles on. That's so weird. I used to not play games with subtitles on because it, I don't know, I wanted more immersion, I guess, but I don't know, it just really helps having them on, it feels like for me now. Like, I guess I just have trouble absorbing information sometimes and just reading it helps me do that better. Like, I feel like if we'd had those subtitles on during that test that we were given earlier, I would have done better on it. I mean, I didn't do bad, I guess, but I did get that last question wrong. Which was kind of upsetting. Maybe if I had read those numbers earlier, I would have done better. 
All right, so this is where we talk to that lamp <laughs> or whatever the hell and turn the generator on for the cable station or whatever they called it. Can't do anything else in there. All right. How's it going, guys? Looks like we have may have cleaned this place out of all anomalies, maybe. Oh, wait. Let's go down here. What's this? Oh, there's one. This kind of reminds me of those little rocks stacked up on Uncharted. Uncharted 4. That I kept kicking over. <laughs> if you watch that. That was my first Let's Play. Oh. Bam. That's creepy. Anything that mentions God is creepy. I wonder if there's a place that we can read these. Letters, maybe? Okay, what's this? Letters. Is this another collectible? I don't remember coming across any letters. Photos. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at some of these, actually. Holy shit, it just popped up on the side by its own. It scared me. So that's us at the, um, the, the, uh, the, uh, well. <laughs> that's our first picture together when we arrived. Look how happy we were. And that is us slowly growing more miserable as we meet Clarissa, who's over there looking just as you'd expect. <laughs> Let's not look at that one. I don't see anything in this picture. I feel like there's probably something there, though. You know, if you look at it, the, the thumbnail version over there on the right of the same picture, it looks like there's like a, uh, uh, a human shape in the distance, but I don't see it in this big version. <laughs> Am, is that just me? Am I just not seeing this? Eh, I don't know. I never could get those things in the newspaper either where it had a shape. Oh, God, let's not look at that. We had some shape uh, that you had to make out from this abstract thing of colors. Well, damn it. I was hoping all these anomaly things would be available for us to listen to in a row. Now that we have subtitles and I could notice them better. Damn it. That sucks. Are these graves? Tombstones? Oh god. It scared the hell out of me. Well anyway, there seems to be something with our brother going on. These anomalies. That weird thing on the radio. What else we got? That old woman who... I think they said she died a couple of days ago. I'm trying to think out what else we've heard about. I can't remember. There's a lot of weird stuff going on, and it's hard to keep track of it all. But I don't even know where to start putting the pieces together for this. You know? We already went up here. What am I doing? Move, buddy. I mean, I like these mystery games and stuff a lot. But I don't even know where to start theorizing on this. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're, I guess maybe we're just not that far into it yet anyway, but. Okay, so which way should we go? This bottom area? I don't think we've gone this way before, have we? 
I'm trying to keep an eye out on the top for anomalies, but I don't see any. All right, let's go. I mean, I guess if we really wanted to listen to what each one of those anomalies said, we could go back and... Because I only had two. We could go back to each one of them and listen again, but Jesus. Seems out of the way. I mean, look how long it's taken us to travel here. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed towhee, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. Towhee. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort... So that's this tree right here. Take a look at it. Roosting tree. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I'm interested. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really, no. You know, once you grasp the concept of time and how insane it is, this stuff is really interesting. <laughs> time is nuts. I got quiet for a second because a giant truck just drove by my house. And I'm gonna have to quiet that out, cut it out. When I'm editing this audio. Well, I'm not seeing anything here. We've not been here before. Doesn't look like there's anything to see here. There might be later. I'm just kind of fun to explore on here, though. Be more fun if there's more interactive things we could do, I guess, but. I guess if we were doing what we were supposed to be doing, we'd still be hearing a lot of conversation right now. Okay, so this is where me and Jonah's jumped off from earlier. So we'll go that way again and see if there's anything up through here. It's probably just going to be a big circle we're going in. Whatever though. I got time. And if you're watching this and you don't like it, fast forward. <laughs> Hope that didn't sound rude. Here we go. That's an anomaly, right? Yep. Wait a minute. Did the subtitle go off? Controller audio. Well, I got headphones in, so I don't know if that would even make a difference. Gordon and Grants Pass, so this will be old hat to me. William Marshall, a local park ranger working in Edwards Forest, killed himself today after what his wife describes as a years long battle with depression. His body was found hanging from a tree in the. Who? Why'd the subtitles go away? Uh, it'll be good having somebody else here to watch after the grounds, Bill. I was at Park Warden in Grants Pass, so this will be old hat to me. William Marshall, a local park ranger working in Edwards Forest. William Marshall? Himself today after what his wife describes as a years-long battle with depression. His body was found hanging from a tree in the... So someone named William Marshall killed himself here, I guess. 
by hanging himself from a tree. I wonder why the subtitles weren't working just then. It would have been helpful. How hey, you listen to these old, or I don't know, these old conversations or radio stations? I'm guessing they're old. Is uh, it, it reminds me of that Everybody's Gone to the Rapture game. If you've played that, it's a pretty cool game. Very unique and trippy. I wasn't recording my gameplay back then when I played that. That sucks though, there's a lot of games I wish I had recorded so I'd have my like first experience with them documented. It always seems like a cool idea. That, that's like the coolest idea to me for recording these. It's like little home movies of my first experience with a game. This probably sounds lame to everybody, but I like it. I'm sort of a lame person. I turned back because that's the way we just came from. I think we did everything we could in that area. But like I said, I think I'm just going to spend this entire video just checking around for anomalies and whatnot. I didn't like the idea of us having passed up so many previously. Okay, so this is the way we jumped from before. Sorry guys, I know I'm seeing very bipolar with <laughs> the directions I'm going, but... Okay, so we can't go anywhere from here. We have to go up there. I bet Ren and Jonas are getting so annoyed with me. I wish they talk some, though. I kind of miss them piping in now. It seemed a, a bit too much when I first started, but <laughs> now I miss it. Oh, shit. We're all right. So I think that bridge over there is going to lead us to where we're supposed to go, so I'm trying to not go that way at the moment. I want to avoid our <laughs> objective for a bit. If at all possible. Ah, oh, shit. Well, god damn it. We gotta go that way, don't we? This is where I came from. <sighs> well, you gotta get lost some before you start knowing the map well, I guess. We move so slow, though, it's kind of tedious when I go the wrong way like that. Okay. Oh, Alright, so this won't lead us directly to her. That's good. Now, keep an eye out for anomalies and plaques. And apparently letters. I don't know what that's all about, but... Alright. I didn't even pay attention to that sign. Where did it say we were going? Oh, shit. Made for pinching. Yeah, let's see how she is. And, uh, so give my lungs a breather. My stupid chest's on fire for some reason. Smoke will do that. Yes, it will. Oh, you know what that makes me think of, actually? He what? They made it a point to show that he smoked. And remember what happened when we first went into that cave? We found an ashtray down there and a pin. So do you think in the future he ends up in that cave somehow, like stuck down there, or, well, if he was stuck down there, why would he have an ashtray with him? Well, anyway, that just seems kind of coincidental to me that there would be an ashtray down there. Okay, so the comm tower is where they're at, I guess. Let's look at the map and see if it tells us. Okay, calm tower, calm tower. Pardon tower. <laughs> um, doesn't have their picture there. Doesn't tell us anything here, does it? 
Oh, all right. I'm gonna... She was just talking to us from that tower, so I guess that's where that was from, so... Yeah. We're not gonna go that way, then. Not right now. Harden Tower, Ma Milner Outpost. Shit. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is Milner Outpost. But we can go down. That's right. That's where we want to go. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Is this one of the... Uh, is this an anomaly? I can't tell. Yep. Cool. Chig three. The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards. Caleb Edwards. And triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders. Jesus. A time honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. Huh. That sounded ominous. Alright. So. That sounded kind of evil. We got another little plaque here also. Cool. Let's see how many anomalies we got now. Yeah, look at that. We got half of them. Cool. Oh. of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. This early version of I'll listen to it again. I feel like I missed something. Fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, All right. with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response call system. Call and response system. Devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. Okay, so we were at that station earlier, that cat one. Let's see if we can go to this door. So this is a bomb shelter. But we'll be going to that later for something. You don't just have a bomb shelter out here and we'll have us not interact with it. Right? Right? No? I don't know. Okay, so... What's up that way? Alright. I guess we'll just keep going down and see what's... See what's up down here. Holy shit, this is a steep hill. Damn. Alright, cool. Uh, we got a gate. Should we go to it? Go to it. Adler Estate. Was that that old woman's name? Adler? Was it Maggie Adler or something like that? Oh, and one of those radio th things said that she was young once. So that leads me more to believe in this time travel thing going on. Oh, shit. You hear that, don't you? We'll come back to that. Oh, shit, there's another one. And another one. What is this? Discovery Cliffs? I don't know about this. I have a feeling we'll come back here later and we'll discover what all this is about. So I'm going to go ahead and go back up, I think. For now. <laughs> I 
Uh, it's gonna take so long. Just look at the map one more time. Yeah, Pivany Field, Discovery Cliffs. Oh wait, Discovery Cliffs. Will that will that? It's hard for me to read this map. Will that lead back to the Main Street? Huh. I don't know. Oh shit. All right, fuck it. Let's go to the Discovery Cliffs. I'm I'm curious now. We're not gonna do the lamp thing though. And I think I might have seen another anomaly over here as well. But it was so close to the lamp that I'm, a, I'm worried about trying it. Uh, yep. See, it's right there. Hmm. Shit. Tr let's try it. Oh, right, there was. Oh no! How how many of you are there? How how many of you are there? How how many of you oh, are there? Oh, it's, it's just repeating, huh? That's pretty weird. I think that's seven anomalies though. Was that us talking? It's hard to tell. Girls' voices all sound the same to me. Is that sexist? I don't know. If it is, it's not like a mean sexist. Okay. What's this? Got another plaque here. Do I have to... I could probably use it right here. was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. This Outdated? I don't know. Um, like they said earlier, that's like a, a primitive futuristic technology. Kind of like every technology used on Metal Gear, the ones that take place in the 70s and 80s. Or 60s, I don't remember what it was. What the hell is this? It's like a crater. Oh, uh, I was hoping we could read the sign. I guess not. Well, we can, but it's nothing special. Wait a minute. I think this might be where we started off at, actually. Yeah, I think so. We'll go that way. But I want to look around a little bit more first. If I can get down this... I can't go down this way. Well, we went down this other way at first, anyway. Right, so should we go down or should we go left? I think we go left to where we started off at. All right, it's with the music right here. You hear that? It's crazy. Okay. There's probably nothing we can really check out here. This is where we first used to learn, uh, where we first learned to use the radios on the uh, plaques. But I don't think there's a lot to look at here. I guess we can see what the boat's still there. It's probably not. But okay, we we listened to this plaque already. Wait, you hear that buzzing? I wonder if we could do one of those things to that lamp right there, or this one. Maybe the, all the lamps just do that.
All right, this looks like the end of the road. We've gone full circle, guys. Last place left for us to go is the beach, and then, um, in the cave. And then we'll go back to Clarissa. That should be it. Wait a minute. Is that rock over there in the water? One of those things? Those anomalies? really hard to tell with some of these rocks. Maybe it's not. Okay. Just wanted to check. So that's 7 out of 12 we got. That's not bad. Probably could have done better, but I'm sure I missed something. <laughs> okay. Kind of zoning out with this music. So I feel like I should be meditating or something. Okay, let's go to the cliffs. Come on, guys. Okay. Hopefully we'll come across another one down this little mountain here. Another anomaly, I mean. I don't even think I knew about those when I was when I first came this way. Is that one? I don't think it is. Uh, do I want to waste my time trying it? You know I do. I go quick though. All right, I didn't see anything. Okie doke. So, Jonas, Rin, how are you guys? We so quiet for usually talking my ear off. Not even asking me why I'm doing all this instead of just going where we're supposed to. You, they're usually always rushing me. All right, hopefully we're not passing anything up. All right. Back at the beach. Hello, beach. So we got any clickables around here? Doubtful. Ah, uh, back when the game was still new and not scary. Or I, guess, I guess it always seemed kind of scary to me, actually, because I didn't know what to expect. And it looks so different. Wait, we never went up here, did we? What the hell is this? Where is this taking us? Wow, these are a lot of stairs. And it's just leading nowhere. Okay. Never mind. Well, it's probably leading somewhere, but... We'll go that way in a little bit. I'm gonna go down here first. Make sure we got this covered. Uh, how do we do that? Look at cave. Oh, guess we're not going in there again. Oh. Whatever happened must have caved in the opening. What? Shit. Well, damn. 
All right, guess we're going back up the stairs. <laughs> stairs gonna remind me of the movie Surf Ninjas. Remember that guy who just kept falling down them? Like this huge flight of stairs. I mean, I don't really remember it too well either. That whole movie's an entire blur to me. I haven't seen it since I was a child, but... I do remember a guy falling down a lot of stairs. Yes, I know, that's a really random thing I just brought up. Can we not go this way? Oh man, really? Ah, oh, nuts. Shit. God damn it. Well, crap. Okay, I guess we're going this long trek back. I can't blame anybody but myself, though. I chose to do this. Wish we had a slinky. This place would be awesome. I think we should put that fire out? It'd be dangerous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I not go back this way now? Oh. I got scared for a second. Okay, I'm still a little scared. Phew. I thought something glitched out on me and I was stuck there in that beach forever. That'd be a perfect ending for a game like this. Okay. Come on, guys. It's kind of laggy on this part for some reason. Is that just me? You seen that? I never know if I'm using the word laggy right. But it looks choppy, though. Kind of like how the Terminator was walking at the end of the first one. Like stop motion-y. You know what I'm talking about. You hear that? Am I going crazy? I swear I just thought I heard something. I'm going crazy. That's all there is to it. I'm losing my goddamn mind. This game is driving me nuts. Sound like I heard like a beeping noise. Okay. Wish we could cut up that way. Well, I wonder where the rest of these um, anomalies are then. Oh, we got seven? Maybe there's somewhere Clarissa supposedly died or whatever happened to her. God damn, this music scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, now, what I'm not really sure about is if our objective is at the Hardened Tower or that place where Clarissa dived from. I'm thinking the Harden Tower, but... Did you hear that? Man, this game is just scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> it's like I'll keep running and then I'll hear like a little radio noise out of nowhere. It's just very faint, just faint enough for me to like wonder, was that in my imagination or? Okay, you heard that, right? Was that the music? I bet it was the music. God, I am so on edge. Oh wait, we didn't go this way, did we? Holy crap. Look at that. Oh, we missed this completely. Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed.
installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kanaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies, both foreign and domestic. This is the sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant P. Yeah, I forgot about that sinking. A lot of guys died in that, apparently. That's what we, that's the question we got wrong. Huh. So Hasbro. I love his toys. Alright, come on, guys. Keep an eye out for little anomalies. I'm sure I passed at least one up. Okay, yeah, I'm really thinking that these radio noises I'm hearing are from the music now. Okay, Fort Milliner is where Clarissa swan dived. So, yeah, let's go that way. I guess. Now, if they start talking when we get here, we'll know. <laughs> we know we'll know we went the right way, which would for us be the wrong way right now. All right, cool. Okay, we are here for anomalies. That's it. Okay, I think we already listened to this one, but screw it. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communications. Yeah, we listened to this. We saw more than one hundred thousand. Okay, here's one. I think. Yep. Alright. It's creepy. Everything here is creepy, though. Okay, so... Alright. I guess we can look inside this building again. Okay. I remember not enjoying this place, but... God, I hate this place. It's so scary. Oh, look at that. We got another anomaly right here, though. Do it again. So, like an aura? What the hell are you talking about? Let's go up here and see what's up. Yeah, I see the tiger. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> it's giving me a bad feeling. Okay, is there anything in here? I don't see anything. All right. I'm trying to hurry this up. I gotta. I gotta pee. I'm sure you all wanted to know that. Okay. So that's eight anomalies we've got so far. That's pretty good, right? Now this game must be pretty short actually if that we've got that many and there's only 12. The 
This place is so creepy. This is the creepiest place in the game so far that we've come to. Hmm. Yeah, I thought this place was a lot bigger for some reason. I guess where we looped at it so many times, it just felt like we were here for a long time. I can't get it down. Okay. Okay, I'm, let's get out of here. I don't like it. don't like this place at all. don't want to be in it any longer than I have to. Happens we go this way. Nothing. Okay. Let's go. Come on, guys. Run. 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 Let's get out of here. Something. God damn it. It's tiger. You scared the hell out of me. Oh my god. Why do you climb so slow? Come on, Alex. Alright, we'll go this way. What happens when we go this way? I don't remember. Oh shit. No, this is the creepy, creepier spot. I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah, this is creepy. Okay, let's try to make this quick. Why are we so slow? Just want to check around. Get away from that mirror. Can we go on this door still? Okay. Anything? Nothing? All right, good. No, I'm not seeing any anomalies over here. I'm just like I, I don't think we're gonna find anything. But I, I would since we're here, we may as well check. <laughs> okay. All right, we're good. Let's go. Go past this mirror as quick as possible. I hate that mirror. And I guess we saw ourselves in that mirror. That's what she said. That's just so weird. Like, all I can figure is that somehow we're looping back. Like, we will be. Like, what we saw in that mirror was maybe like a, us, actually us, in a different time like in the future maybe I don't know but wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute these doors use these uh they use um these radio signals to unlock you hear that what's that oh that's just that creepy station uh I guess. I don't know. Oh, that was just the music playing, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go. Alright. Alright, good. We are out of this place. Hopefully. Now, I think this one's going to bring us out that door that just magically opened earlier in the game. After we went to that little tower to get Clarissa. Yeah, all right, cool. That tower right there is the one I was talking about. All right, I think we got everything covered. Everything we're going to get covered, at least. And this is where we started off at, right? Okay, cool. All right. All right, good. So we're going to go get Nona. She's at the main tower. And then we will continue our story. <laughs> Let's see how many we got. Got 9 out of 12. All right. We'll be back soon with that.